so excited about the events that took place today. We woke up, ate breakfast, and went on this amazing farm tour by Aja Chocolate in San Ignacio, Belize. It was so much fun to be led around by this passionate cacao producer. For us now, we're gonna taste a bean by taking a bean and we're gonna taste it. Yep. That's good. Excellent. Let me do another just because of that. <laughs> uh, we ate some delicious bananas, drank coconuts, and he taught us all about the chocolate growing there on the farm. Uh, we came back, saw how chocolate was made in the traditional Mayan way. It's so great. It's beautiful. Mm. Wow, it was beautiful to taste the flavors, the different flavors. Uh, most importantly, uh, I feel amazing right now. So I've been eating this cacao bean all day. Um, it comes in this kind of super gelatinous um, pod and then it tastes, like each little bean tastes like lemonade. It has this goo surrounding it. And then you just like, mm, you suck off the goo and then bite the bean and chew it. And <laughs> let me tell you, they say that chocolate is an aphrodisiac. Eating all these forms of chocolate all day, I now understand why they say that. Because I am feeling so sexually empowered right now. I'm feeling like I am in my goddess state like I have never been before. I am feeling confident, super creative, and sexually empowered. I didn't always feel sexually expressed growing up. Uh, you probably don't know this about me, but I was actually raised as a Mormon um, in a religious family and um, as you know in Christianity and different religions they tend to uh, <laughs> make you feel shameful about sex premarital sex before marriage and that being taught to you over and over uh, whether you follow that or decide to follow that it does something to you um, and it does something to you, the way you sexually express yourself later on in life. So though, I mean, though I'm not like super shy or anything, I feel like I could step into that role of feeling confident about my body and even just the way that I present it to the world. Uh, not feeling ashamed of certain things that I wear, um, feeling confident in my interactions. Uh, sexuality, it's linked to so many different things. Creativity, um, just feeling the loving energy for your community. And that's something that I'm really trying to work on and nurture that in myself. Uh, my partner and I have really, we have a really loving relationship. And one of the things that's such a benefit to those that are in a loving relationship is that you can bring that into your life and out into the world so you can cultivate that love that potent seed of love <laughs> and then cheers share that with the world so that's one of my missions in life is to share that with the world and let others know that i love them and that it's coming from the heart <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing. It's something not to be ashamed of. Our sexuality and our bodies. And I'm excited for where that leads me. Um, to feel fully empowered in this life. Because life is too short to feel shitty about yourself. And about uh, feelings that come up. Bad things happen when you suppress feelings and you don't actually work through them and dialect 
about them and that's the thing it's like when things become hush hush then you get taboos and um, that energy gets converted into something that isn't always the most beneficial for everyone and yeah that's something that I've been doing uh, is letting members of the opposite sex know that you know I love you I love you and I think that that's one of my gifts as someone who is married is that there's not that confusion for them that's like who is this girl saying that like do I ask them out because it's like it's off the table this is pure love uh, so I'm excited uh, that that's a gift of mine that I can share with others um, heal wounds and we can heal ancestral wounds when we fully step into ourselves and forgive ourselves and um, explore our sexuality, whatever that means, um, in a very holistic and thoughtful way. I wanted to share that with you. I've been feeling really loving today from drinking all this chocolate. <laughs> Did I tell you that I love you? Okay, peace out. Go go eat some chocolate, but the good kind, right? The delicious, raw, vegan chocolate, the way the Mayans made it. Go for the good stuff. Love it. Make it a sacred act, this chocolate eating. And I don't know, I think, I think you will uh, see for yourself. <laughs> And uh, thanks so much for watching, and you know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment below, show the love, keep this thing alive, and uh, we'll see you soon. Peace out.